We talk about feeling good all the time. We often say to ourselves, I just want to feel good, or I just want to feel better. Or maybe we say, I just want to be happy. In each of these instances, we are asking for the same state of well-being. Yet, what does this feel-good state really consist of? I've realized that self-love is the primary ingredient to feeling good. Self-love is based in self-acceptance and results in self-care. If you want to feel good, you must first be willing to accept every part of yourself. You then must be willing to love your whole self, including the parts of yourself you don't like so much. When you do this, you give yourself the tools necessary to deeply care for yourself on emotional, physical, and spiritual levels. Now what does self-acceptance, self-love and self-care entail? Let's break it down. Self-acceptance. Self-acceptance means that you are able to be on your own side regardless of where you find yourself emotionally, mentally, or even physically. So if you find yourself criticizing yourself, being negative about your progress, or second-guessing yourself, you are not on your own side. To get on your own side, begin to treat yourself the same way you would treat someone you love and respect. Self-love. Self-love means that you maintain a loving perspective towards yourself at all times. For example, even if you don't like the way you are acting, or you don't get the results you wanted, you still know deep down that you have value and are worthy of unconditional love. Self-care. Self-care is your ability to put self-love and self-acceptance into practice. It's not about doing something that is supposed to be healthy as much as it's caring for yourself in the most basic and intrinsic ways. Taken together, these three key ingredients create an exceptional level of health, fulfillment and ultimately success. They are mutually reinforcing qualities, so enhancing your self-acceptance will naturally propel your self-love and self-care. Here are some steps you can take to bring more self-acceptance, self-love and self-care into your life and to nurture a feel-good state of being. Find the benefits of your less-than-desirable qualities. Every part of us has value, even if this value is not always immediately apparent. If we learn to listen to our less-than-desirable qualities, to our hurt, our fear, we can start to learn how these qualities have been beneficial to us even. If we are ready to let them go as we move forward, practice loving others even if you don't like their behavior or beliefs. Loving someone doesn't mean tolerating bad behavior or having no boundaries. Loving someone includes boundaries and even getting upset when someone has wronged you. So you don't need to let go of love if someone's behavior conflicts with your beliefs about what is right and what is wrong. Love yourself like you love others. There are people in your life, like your children, or your partner, that you love despite their flaws. Pay attention to how and why you are able. Same thing. Pay attention to how you to feel when you figure out what really makes you feel good. And then, do more of it.